Alright guys, welcome back to our vlog. And today we are taking Packy Boy to get his hair cut. Hey Packy, let's see, oh yep, it's about that time huh boy? See you there. We're back at That's our... Looks. We're back to pick up Pack, but they haven't texted us yet. It usually takes about two hours for him to get groomed, but this so is the we first came. Time it has yeah, it. this is. So now we're here early. Like <laughs> we came like right at two hours, and it's been like an extra 10, 15 minutes, and they still haven't called or texted. So we're I'm like, getting anxious. We're like those uh, parents that get to pick up their kid from school. Like, <laughs> yeah, and they go so early. Like uh, they get out at like three, and they're there at like one. And here's Packy after Packy. Oh, so he small. couldn't get his head. So he said that when he got to Pack's like face, Pack like was not having it weirdly this time. And like he would not let him touch his face very well. So he got his eyes like the best he could, but when he got to like his head, like the top of his head and stuff, Pack was like not letting him. We did something crazy, guys. We also just gave, okay, so we ordered those chairs online from HEB. They brought them out to us, like they're already put together, and we couldn't really fit them in Brent's car very well. There was a Bronco next to us, and she was like, hey, y'all wanna just put them in my car and I'll take them to you guys. And we're like, sure, yeah, you can just do that, right? So I just like load them up in her Bronco, and then I'm like, all right, well, we're gonna go get our dog from the groomers right now, so then we'll be there. And she still had to get her groceries at curbside anyways. And then we get back in the car and we're like, she just steals them, imagine. But Brett said it's not funny until we actually get the chairs back. So we just did that. So now we have our chairs, but we don't have them because we uh, left them with some stranger. So hopefully we get them. We'll hopefully let you guys nice know. Stranger. Yeah, hopefully she was. I'm pretty sure she was just being nice. I, got her, I said, I'm going to get her license plate. So was like, no, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. I said, I'm going to get her license plate. Well, I was just thinking, why did we say yes if we're going to be like paranoid and freaked out? If well, she's it's not about steal. that, but it's just like, you got to check cover your bases, you know? I don't All right guys, so we're back home she and she came through the random lady that we don't know her name No number nothing She was very nice. So this is like from our kitchen <coughs> and It's like very open and looks pretty good So they're really cute the lady that got them for it, or that was driving them to us. She was like these are from H-E-B her husband, was, her, she said her husband was like, did you buy those? <laughs> <laughs> That's from Target, these are from H-E-B. Looks really saying, cute. This is like our first purchase that we- Well, we want our future, like, future home delivery. So we got this couch from, free. for free, yeah, from like right. one of my mom's friends. And then, so we got these tables, cause we were like trying to match the couch, I think, and the darkness of it. So we didn't want to go like crazy light. And it was also well, really cheap. It looked, it and helped it the really place good. look really good. It still does, it just doesn't match the, like, it's like not kind of the aesthetic, I feel like. The lightness of the chair. I always wanted like a little happy corner, and so that's what that is. Yep. Like by our window, we have our light, and it's very like happy color. So. And the lady came through. I'll insert a video in here. Brett was like, we were waiting in the front of the apartments for the lady, and she told me she, she'll be here at around five. And Brett was like up there by like 4.15. Brett was like, I'm gonna stay up front and just wait for her. So he was like this. We like finally got back in the car at like 4.30 just to wait because it was hot outside. And he was just like, like he was, here's the car. The lady would be coming from over here on this side. And this was Brett like every five seconds. He was freaking out, but it was kind of making me panic a little bit, but I'm like, just give her till 5.30, and if nobody comes by 5.30, then we can panic. This is why I was cool as a cucumber, right? Because I was like, why would somebody's first instinct and first thought yeah. be, oh, let me see if these people need help. And she was very so, normal looking. And she was, just a normal lady. So I was like, why would a lady in a Bronco need to steal chairs? Yeah. We can't even afford a Bronco because yeah, she offered yeah. like super quick. We we tried for like five seconds, couldn't get in the car, couldn't get him in Brett's car. And she was right next to us that so was very quick to like lend a helping hand and say, hey, like I can take him where are you guys going? We did it so quick. It all happened like yeah. so fast where we were like, 
Oh, are you sure? Okay, yeah, sure. Threw him in the Bronco. All right, yo. All right, see you at five. Okay, bye. And just like left. After, you know, it kind of set in, like, what do we just do? Yeah, why? Why would somebody in a Bronco need to steal it? And also, most people are good. So I'll say, Serena was right. And like, at first, that's why I think I did it so quick. Cause she was very quick to help. And she was like, she seemed very normal up front. And I'm like, and I like, that's my thought. Like, I, why would a random lady just be like, oh, let me steal these people's chairs? I was like, I didn't get this lady's phone number. I don't even know her name. The one thing we got was her license plate. So I was like freaking out like worst case scenario. I'll take the license plate to the cop. I don't even know. What we should have done was at least get her number, but it worked out. Nah. And uh, she was a really nice lady. Shouts out to her. We moved Pecky's thing over here, his cage. And now he likes it. All right, so now it is the next morning, Saturday. And Serena is going to make what are you making? Oh. Serena's making brown sugar ice shaken espresso. But I want my regular latte actually. Serena wants a regular latte today. So I guess I'll be trying the other one. Yeah, well you can make a regular latte. I just want to make one to see how it is, if it's good. And if you guys always see me holding Pecky like this in every video, it's because he likes to be held like this. He wants up and then he just crawls up on my shoulder. So that's why I always have him on me when I'm Making. He looks so relaxed. Look at him. This is his favorite. So if you ever he looks kind of big. He does. He's grown a little. I think he's grown. So you pull your shot of espresso, or you can use your AeroPress. So I'm just gonna get a little bit on here, put it into the. Okay. Then I'm gonna get your espresso, pour it in there. Yeah. I wanted to use our protein shaker bottles, but we put it in the dishwasher, so we're using this little coffee. It's coffee. just as good. If it doesn't spill. Is it? Oh wow, a real bartender. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use some ice. Pack's like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Look at Pack. Pack's <laughs> like, my parents have gone crazy. Yeah. Let me get your shaken espresso with brown sugar espresso and espresso. And you pour Ice, that son. right on in. Made it look darker, that's for sure. Give it a nice stir. Can you taste the brown sugar? Yeah. Too much? <sighs> you wouldn't drink it. It's very sweet. It's not bad. I mean, it doesn't taste dis different enough to be like. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I don't taste the shaken espresso part. The yeah. espresso tastes the same. I've seen people do like little chocolate candies that they put inside the cup and then they pour their espresso shot into that cup and then it so the heat like melts the chocolate and then it's like a chocolate espresso. You try that maybe sometime. And I was saying I've seen where people put brown sugar into their espresso, like the thing that you that pulls the espresso shot. Porta filter, I, don't know, I think it's called. Porta filter thing. That could be they one. put it in there and then it comes out in the espresso. It looks pretty, like a lighter brown color or something. I don't know. But anyways, I give this a seven out of ten. It tastes good. It just tastes like a normal latte with sugar, like sweetened up. It's a ten out of ten because we made it and we made. It. The best espresso. I was gonna go to my nephew's game yesterday, but we accidentally booked Pack's appointment, like groomer's appointment at one. The game started at like six or 6.30, and I looked at how many hours it would take to get there, and it said like six and a half. So we would have gotten there at like 9 p.m. by the time Pack's appointment was done. Well, 10 p.m. because he took an hour longer. So yeah, true. we wouldn't have made it. We're just staying home for the weekend. Pack loves playtime all the time. Sometimes at night we'll throw that like 50 times and it won't be enough still. They can go get Packy a ball. We, we went to the park like three days ago and there was like a little volleyball there. And so we just started kind of kicking it around. Pack loved it. He, lo like, he, likes, he likes when I kick it far and he'll run like after yeah. it. He also likes when you tease him. So like if you kind of toss the ball back and forth between your two feet. You can put a lady on. Yeah, we'll show you.
decided to come to the farmer's market today. The farmer's market, and they're working on a roof right there. But, it's, uh, we gotta walk a ways up there, but that's what we're doing. Okay, so we've been here for only like five minutes and I've already gotten flowers. <laughs> and candle. Candle. But we already knew where we wanted to go because we got the candles from this chick already before. They so smell really like good. Them. So we've already gotten two things in like five minutes, but let's keep going. And Peck is already eating something. Yeah, Peck's already eating something random the off the ground. Dead squirrel. And he did roll on a dead squirrel, so it's been fun. So we ended up getting these little bagels. They're bagel sandwiches. They look really good. It's soft. So we got jam. Mango habanero jam. We got soreness and flowers. And, and a candle. And a candle. And Serena got a little diffuser for her car. Mm -hmm. And local places always have like the most unique things, mm -hmm. like a bagel sandwich. You can't get that anywhere else. Packy just loves other people more than us sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, he's just looking. He's just sitting and staring at the people right behind us. So we got these flowers. Very cute. And they smell really good. And then this little candle from our lady. So this is the last time we'll show you guys the chairs because we've done it a lot. But this can be our new little setup. We just flip the chairs around. And we have our good natural light. Look at that. And Packy is so tired. Yep. That's gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. It's crazy with YouTube, like most watchers are not subscribed, even our, like ours. Yeah, even though we get like 50, 60 views, yeah, it's still like we don't get that 90% are not subscribed. But um, see you in the next video.